December 12th, Amos 7 through 7, 1 through 9, 15. Thank you, Holy Father, for the honor to read your word and learn your decrees. Again, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Father God, teach us your decrees. Pour your Holy Spirit over us and give us jolted dreams and visions, Father God, in Jesus' holy name. 7 1. This is what the sovereign Holy Lord showed me, Amos. He was preparing swarms of locusts after the king's share had been harvested, and just as the second crop was coming in, when they had stripped the land clean, I cried out, O sovereign Holy Lord, forgive. How can Jacob survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. This will not happen, the Lord says. This is what the Sovereign Holy Lord showed me. The Sovereign Lord was calling for judgment by fire. It dried up the great deep and devoured the land. Then I cried out, Holy so Sovereign Holy Lord, I beg you, stop. How can Jacob survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. Wow, God is hearing. That is awesome. This will not happen either, the Sovereign Holy Lord said. This is what he showed me. The Holy Lord was standing by a wall that had been built true to plumb, with a plumb line in his hand, and the Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line, I replied. Then the Holy Lord said, Look, I am setting a plumb line among, plumb line among my people Israel. I will spare them no longer. The high places of Isaac will be destroyed. The sanctuary of Israel will be ruined. With my sword I will rise against the house of Jeroboam. Then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos is raising a conspiracy against you in the very heart of Israel. The land cannot bear all his words, for this is what Amos is saying. Jerobo Jeroboam will die by the sword, and Israel will surely go into exile, away from their native land. When Amaziah said to Amos, Get out, you seer, go back to the land of Judah, earn your bread there, and do your prophesying there. Don't prophesy any more at Bethel, because this is the king's sanctuary and the temple of the kingdom. Amos, Amos answered Amaziah, I was neither a prophet nor a prophet's son, but I was a shepherd, and I also took care of sycamore fig trees. But the Holy Lord took me from tending the flock and said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Now then, hear the word of the Lord. You say, Do not prophesy against Israel and stop preaching against the house of Isaac. Therefore, this is what the Holy Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city, and your son, sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Your land will be measured and divided up, and you yourself will die in a pagan country. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Israel will certainly go into exile away from their native land. This is what the Sovereign Holy Lord showed me, a basket of ripe fruit. What do you see, Amos? He asked, a basket of ripe fruit, I answered. Then the Holy Lord said to me, The time is right for my people Israel. I will spare them no longer. In that day, declares the Sovereign Holy Lord, the songs, of, the songs in the temple will turn into wailing, many, many bodies flung out everywhere, silence. Hear this, you will trample the needy and do away with the poor of the land, saying, when will, the new mo when will the new moon be over that we may sell grain and the Sabbath be ended that we may market wheat? Skimping the measure, boosting the price, and cheating with dishonest scales. Buying the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even the sweepings with the wheat. Yuck! The Holy Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, I will never forget anything they have done. Will not the land tremble for this and all who live in and all who live in it mourn. The whole land will rise like the Nile. It will be stirred up and then sink like the river of Egypt. In that day declares the Holy Sovereign Lord. I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in the broad daylight. I will turn your religious feasts into mourning and all your sinking into weeping. I will make all of, your, all of you wear sackcloth and shave your heads. I will make that time like mourning for an only son and the end of it like a bitter day. The days are coming, declares the Holy Sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or a thirst of water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Holy Lord. Men will, men will stagger from sea to sea and wander from north to east, searching for the word of the Holy Lord, but they will not find it. In that day, the lovely young women and strong young men will faint because of thirst. They will not. They who swear by the shames of Samaria or say, as surely as your God lives, O Dan, or as surely as the God of Beersheba lives, they will fall never to rise again. I saw the Holy Lord standing by the altar. He said, Strike the tops of the pillars so that the thresholds shake. Bring them down on the heads of all the people. Those who are left, I will kill with the sword. Not one will get away. None will escape. Though they dig down to the depths of the grave, from there my hand will take them. Yikes! Though they climb up to the heavens, from there I will bring them down.
though they hide themselves though they hide themselves on the top of Carmel, there I will hunt them down and seize them. Though they hide from me at the bottom of the sea, there I will command the serpent to bite them. Though they are driven into exile by their enemies, there I will command the sword to slay them. I will fix my eyes upon them for the evil and not for good. For evil and not for good. The Holy Lord, the Lord Almighty, he who touches the earth and it melts, and all who live in it mourn. The whole land rises like the Nile, then sinks like the river of Egypt. He who builds his lofty place in the heavens and sets its foundations on the earth, who calls for waters to the sea and pours them out over the face of the land. The Holy Lord is his name. Are not you Israelites the same to me as the Cushites, declares the Holy Lord? Did I not bring Israel from Egypt, the Philistines from Kaftor, and the Armenians, Arameans from Kerr? Surely the eyes of the sovereign holy Lord are on the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from the face of the earth. Yet I will not totally destroy the house of Jacob, declares the holy Lord. For I will give the command, and I will shake the house of Israel among all the nations, as grain is shaken in a sieve, and not a pebble will reach the ground. All the sinners among my people will die by the sword. All those who say, Disaster will not overtake you. Disaster will not overtake or meet us. In that day, I will restore David's fallen tent. I will repair. I will repair its broken places, restore its ruins, and build it as it used to be, so that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations that bear my name, declares the Holy Lord, who will do these things. The days are coming, declares the Holy Lord, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter by the treading of grapes. New wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills. I will bring back my exiled people Israel. They will rebuild the ruins. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant Israel in their own land, never again to be uprooted from the land I have given them says the Holy Lord your God. Thank you, Holy Father. Revelations 3, 7 through 22. To the holy angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name i will make those who are of the synagogue of satan who claim to be jews though they are not but are liars i will make them to come and fall at your feet and acknowledge that i have loved you since you have kept my command to endure patiently i will i will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth i am coming soon hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my holy God. Never again he, never again will he leave. I will write on him the name of my holy God and the name of the city of my holy God, the new Jerusalem which is coming down out of heaven from my holy God. And I will also write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit says to the churches. To the holy angel of the church in Laodicea write, these are the words of the Amen and the faithful and the true witness, the ruler of our holy God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich, I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so that you can become rich and white clothes to wear so that you can cover your shameful nakedness. And solve to put on your eyes so you can see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit says to the churches. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Psalm 131, 1-3 A Song of Ascents of David 
My heart is not proud, O holy Lord, my eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Holy Lord both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Proverbs twenty nine twenty three. A man's pride brings him low, but a man of lowly spirit gains honor. So it's good to be humble. And humility of praying the word of God. Yes and amen. It's it's amazing. The word of God is powerful. Holy Father, thank you for the honor of reading and studying your word and learning your decrees. Holy Father, thank you for another day of life, Father God. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us, Holy Father. Pour your Holy Spirit over us abundantly, Father God. Give us joy to dreams and visions abundantly. Give us holy heaven classes, Holy Father. In Jesus' holy name, Father God. Forgive us all our sins, Holy Father. Forgive us, Holy Father. Forgive us, us and all the way, all our ancestors, all the way to the first man, Adam. Forgive us, Holy Father. Forgive us, Holy Father. Put all our sins under the holy blood of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah. We ask you to recompense us, Holy Father, sevenfold for everybody that has stolen from us and all our ancestors. By the holy authority and blood of Jesus, our holy Savior, Messiah, who is the son of Mary and Joseph, of holy virgin birth, born in Bethlehem and Nazareth. Ki alama hashia pahakala mahasaka, i ari ari anahashaka hapara mahasaka. Amen. Okay, take two. Thank you, Holy Father, for the honor of praying your word, reading your word, learning your word. Create in us a clean heart, renew a right spirit within us, Holy Father. I'm going to say you can tell the this temperament of any uh, attacks in the spiritual realm when you read the Word of God because your spirit will be agitated. So I think it's very important to read God's Word because He can sense things better. I'm just going to say that because I just um, hit my tire and it got a flat and I'm noticing the spiritual realm is uneasy but when i read the word of god i can feel it even more so i highly recommend you read the word of god it is such a, a thermostat to what's going on in the spiritual realm holy father create in us a clean heart renew a right spirit within us father god uh, teach us your decrees holy father pour uh, an abundance of your holy spirit your holy realm of word into our hearts and uh, bodies and spirits father god Give us wisdom and holy, deep holy revelation, knowledge, Holy Father. Quote a bless the work of our hands as we read your holy word. The words of Amos, one of the shepherds of Tekoa, what he saw concerning Israel two years before the earthquake when Uzziah was king of Judah and Jeroboam, son of Joash, was king of Israel. He said, The Lord roars from Zion and thunders from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds dry up. And the top of Carmel withers. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Damascus, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath. Because she threshed Gilead with sledges having iron teeth, I will send fire upon the house of Hazael that will consume the fortresses of Ben-Hadad. I will break down the gate of Damascus. I will destroy the king who is in the valley of Avon and the one who holds the scepter in beth Aden. The people of Aram will go into exile to Kerr, says the Holy Lord. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Gaza, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because she took captive whole communities and sold them to Edom. I will send fire upon the walls of Gaza that will consume her fortresses. I will destroy the king of Ashdod and the one who holds the scepter in Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron till the last of the Philistines is dead, says the sovereign Holy Lord. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Tyre, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because she sold whole communities to captives to Eden. Disregarding treaty of brotherhood, I will send fire upon the walls of Tyre that will consume her fortresses. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Edom, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because she pursued his brother with a sword, stifling all compassion, because his anger raged continually and his fury flamed unchecked. I will send fire upon Teman that will consume the fortresses of Bozrah. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Ammon, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because he ripped open the pregnant women of Gilead. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. In order to extend his borders, I will set fire to the walls of Rabbah that will consume her fortresses. Amid 
war cries on the day of battle, amid violent winds on a stormy day. Her kings will go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Holy Lord. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Moab, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because he burned as if to lime the bones of Edom's king. I will send fire upon Moab that will consume the fortresses of Kiriath. Moab will go down in great tumult amid war cries and the blast of the trumpet. I will destroy her ruler and kill all her officials with him, says the Holy Lord. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Judah, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath, because they have rejected the law of the Holy Lord and have not kept his decrees, because they have been led astray by false gods, the gods their ancestors followed. I will send fire upon Judah that will consume the fortresses of Jerusalem. This is what the Holy Lord says. For three sins of Israel, even for four, I will not turn back my wrath. They sell the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. They trample on the heads of the poor as upon the dust of the ground and deny justice to the oppressed. Father and son use the same girl and so profane my holy name. They lie down beside every altar on garments taken in pledge in the house of their God. They drink wine taken as fines. I destroyed the Amorite before them. Though he was tall as the cedars and strong as the oaks, I destroyed his fruit above and his roots below i brought you out i brought you up out of egypt and led you for 40 years in the desert to give you the land of the amorites i also raised the prophets from among your sons and nazarites from among your young men is this not true young is this not true people of israel declares the holy lord but you made the nazarites drink wine and commanded the prophets not to prophesy now then i will crush you as a cart crushes when loaded with grain the swift will not escape, the strong will not muster their strength, and the warrior will not save his life. The archer will not stand his ground, the fleet-footed soldier will not get away, and the horseman will not save his life. Even the bravest warriors will flee naked on that day, declares the Holy Lord. Hear this word the Holy Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the whole family I brought up out of Egypt. You only have I chosen of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your sins. Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? Does a lion roar in the thicket when he has no prey? Does he growl in his den when he has caught nothing? Does a bird fall into a trap on the ground where no snare has been set? Does a trap spring up from the earth when there is nothing to catch? When a trumpet sounds in a city, do not the people tremble? When disaster comes to a city, has not the Holy Lord caused it? Surely the Sovereign Holy Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants and prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Sovereign Holy Lord has spoken, who can, who can but prophesy? Proclaim the fortresses of Ashdod and to the fortresses of e Egypt. Assemble yourselves on the mountains of Samaria. See the great unrest within her and the oppression among her people. They do not know how to do right, declares the Holy Lord, who hoard plunder and loot in their fortresses. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Holy Lord says. An enemy will overrun the land. He will put down their, your strongholds and plunder your fortresses. This is what the Holy Lord says. There goes my phone again. This is what the Holy Lord says. As a shepherd saves from the Lord's mouth only two leg bones or a piece of an ear, so will the Israelites be saved. Those who sit in Samaria on the edge of their beds and in Damascus on their couches, hear this and testify against the house of Jacob, declares the Holy Lord, the Holy Lord Almighty. On the day I punish Israel for her sins, I will destroy the altars of Bethel. The horns of the altar will be cut off and fail to fall to the ground. I will tear down the winter house along with the summer house. The houses adorned with ivory with, will be destroyed, and the mansions will be demolished. Praise you, Holy Father, for your word in Jesus' holy name, declares the Holy Lord. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Revelation 2, 1 through 17, to the holy angel of the church of Ephesus, write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Remember the height from 
from which you have fallen, repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I, I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. To the holy angel of the church in Smyrna, write. These are the words of him who is the first and the last, who died and came to life again. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. Amen. He who has an ear, let him hear what the... Holy Spirit says to the churches, He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. To the, to the angel of the church of Pergamum write, These are the words of him who has the sharp double-edged sword. I know where you live, for Samaria has his throne, yet you remain true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city, where Satan lives. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. You have people there who hold the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to entice the Israelites to sin by eating food sacrificed to idols, by committing sexual immorality. Likewise, you also have those who hold the teaching of the Nicolaitans. Repent, therefore, otherwise I will soon come to you and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will also give him a white stone with a new name written on it, known only to him who receives it. Psalm 129, 1-8, A Song of Ascents They have greatly oppressed me from my youth, let Israel say. They have greatly oppressed me from my youth, but they have not gained the victory over me. Plowmen have plowed my back and made their fear furrows long, but the Holy Lord is righteous. He has cut me free from the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be turned back in shame. May they be like grass on the roof, which withers before it can grow. With the reaper, with it the reaper cannot fill his hands, nor the one who gathers fill his arms. May those who pass by not say, The blessing of the Holy Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Holy Lord. Thank you, Holy Father, in Jesus' holy name. Proverbs twenty nine nineteen through 20 A servant cannot be corrected by mere words. Though he understands, he will not respond. Do you see a man who speaks in haste? There is more hope for a fool than of him. Thank you for your word, Holy Father. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us, Father God. Cast not your Holy Spirit away from us. Please pour your Holy Spirit abundantly over each of us. That's hearing my voice, Holy Father. Give us joy to dreams and visions. Holy heaven classes, Father God. Give us uh, wisdom, revelation, knowledge, understanding, Issachar discernment, and uh, prophetic insight and wisdom, Father God. Forgive us all our sins, all the way to the first man, Adam, Holy Father, all our ancestors. Forgive us, Holy Father, recompense us, and vindicate us sevenfold for everybody that has stolen from us. In Jesus' holy name, by the blood of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah. Forgive our the United States, Holy Father, for all her sins, Father God. And discipline us, Holy Father, discipline us and teach us your word, Father God. Shake us, quake us, and awake us, Holy Father. Anybody in the body of Christ that is rebelling against you, discipline us, Holy Father. We need correction out of love, Father God. And discipline everybody in the United States that is rebelling against you, Holy Father, because everybody needs discipline because discipline equals love. And we thank you, Holy Father, for this, this beautiful uh, correction to help us walk straight and narrow, Father God, in Jesus' holy name, amen. Welcome back, Amos 4 through 6, Amos 4, 1 through 6, 14. Thank you, Holy Father, for the honor and the glory to read your word. What an honor. Please teach us your decrees. Please write your decrees on our hearts like as on a tablet. Um, we appreciate all of your word, help us to utilize it in our daily lives. Create in us a clean heart, renew a right spirit within us, in Jesus' holy name. Alrighty, so hear this word, you cows of Bashan on Mount, Sina Mount Samaria, you women who oppress the poor and crush the needy. Oh, he just called those women cows. Oh, and say to your husbands, bring us some drinks. 
the sovereign holy lord has sworn by his holiness the time will surely come when you will be taken away with hooks and the last of your fish hooks and the last of you with fish hooks you will each go straight out through the breaks in the wall and you will be cast out toward harmon declares the holy lord go to bethel and sin go to gilgal and sin yet more bring your sacrifices every morning your tithes every three years burn leavened bread as a thank offering and brag about your free will offerings boast about them you israelites for this is what you love to do declares the holy sovereign lord i gave you empty stomachs in every city and lack of bread in every town yet you have not returned to me declares the holy lord i also withheld rain from you when the harvest was still three months away i sent rain on one town but withheld it from another one field had rain another had none and dried up people staggered from town to town for water but did not get enough to drink yet you have not returned to me declares the holy lord many times i struck your gardens and vineyards i struck them with blight and mildew locusts devoured your fig and olive trees yet you have not returned to me declares the holy lord i sent plagues among you I as i did to egypt i killed your young men with the sword along with your captured horses i filled your nostrils with the stench of your camps yet you have not returned to me declares the holy lord i overthrew some of you as i overthrew sodom and gomorrah you were like a burning stick snatched from the fire yet you have not returned to me declares the holy lord therefore this is what i will do to you o israel and because i will do this to you prepare to meet your holy god o israel he who forms the mountains creates the wind and reveals his thoughts to man. He who turns down to darkness and treads the high places of the earth, the Holy Lord Almighty, is his name. Hear the word, O house of Israel, this lament I take up concerning you. Fallen is virgin Israel, never to rise again, deserted in her own land with no one to lift her up. This is what the sovereign Holy Lord says. The city that marches out a thousand strong for Israel will have only a hundred left. The town that marches out a hundred strong will only have ten left. This is what the Holy Lord says to the house of Israel. Seek me and live. Do not seek Bethel. Do not go to Gilgal. Do not journey to Beersheba. For Gilgal, Gilgal will surely go into exile and Bethel will be reduced to nothing. Seek the Holy Lord and live or he will sweep through the house of Joseph like a fire. It will devour and Bethel will have no one to quench it. You who turn justice into bitterness and cast righteousness to the ground, he who made the Pleiades and Orion, who turns blackness into dawn and darkness and darkens day into night, who calls for waters of the sea and pours them out over the face of the land, the Holy Lord is his name. He flashes destruction on the stronghold and brings the, brings the fortified cities to ruin. You hate the one who reproves in court and despise him who tells the truth. You trample on the poor and force him to give you grain. Therefore, though you have built stone mansions, you will not live in them. Though you have planted lush vineyards, you will not drink their wine. For I know how many are your offenses and how great your sins. You oppress the righteous and take, and take bribes, and you deprive the poor of justice in the courts. Therefore, the prudent man keeps quiet in such times, for the times are evil. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then the Holy Lord Almighty will be with you, just as you say he is. Hate evil, love good, maintain justice in the courts. Perhaps the Holy Lord Almighty will have mercy and on the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, this is what the Holy Lord, the Holy Lord God Almighty says. There will be wailing in the streets and cries of anguish in every public square. The farmers will be summoned to weep and the mourners will wail. There will be wailing in all the vineyards, for I will pass through your midst. Woe to you who long for the day of the Holy Lord. Why? Why do you long for the day of the Holy Lord? That day will be darkness, not light. It will be as though a man fled from a lion, only to meet a bear, as though he entered his house and rested his hand on the wall, only to have a snake bite him. Will not the day of the Holy Lord be darkness, not light? pitch dark without a ray of brightness. I hate, I despise your religious feasts. I cannot stand your assemblies, even though you bring me burnt offerings and grain offerings. I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offerings, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps. But let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never-failing stream. Sorry, my screen is going out. Righteousness like a never-failing stream. Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings forty years in the desert, O house of Israel? You have lifted up the shrine of your king, the pedestal of your idols, the star of your God, which you made for yourselves. Therefore, I will send you into exile beyond Damascus. 
says the Holy Lord, whose name is God, our Holy God Almighty. Woe to you who are complacent in Zion, and to you who feel secure on Mount Samaria. You notable men of the foremost nations, to whom the people of Israel come, go to Calne and look at it. Go from there to the great Hamath, and then go to Gath and Philistia. Are they better off than your two kingdoms? Is their land larger than yours? You put off evil day. You put off the evil day and bring near a reign of terror. You lie in beds and lay with ivory and lounge on your couches. You dine on choice lambs and fattened calves. You strum away on your harps like David and improvise on musical instruments. You drink wine by the bowlful and use the finest lotions, but you do not grieve over the ruin of Joseph. Therefore, you will be among the first to go into exile. Your feasting and lounging will end. The Sovereign Holy Lord has sworn by Himself, the Holy Lord Almighty declares, I abhor the pride of Jacob and detest his fortresses. I will deliver up the city and everything in it. If, if ten men are left in one house, they too will die. And if a relative who is and if a relative who is to burn the bodies comes to carry them out of the house and asks anyone still hiding there, and uh, is anyone with you? And he says no. Then he will say, "Hush! We must not mention the name of the Holy Lord, for the Holy Lord has given the command, and he will smash the great house into pieces and the small house into bits. Do horses run on the rocky crags? Does one plow there with oxen? But you have turned justice into poison, and the fruit of the righteous and the fruit of righteousness into bitterness. You, you who rejoice in the conquest of." Lo Debar and did and say, Did we not take Karnaim by our own strength? For the Holy Lord God Almighty declares, I will stir up a nation against you, O house of Israel, that will oppress you all the way from Libo Hamath to the valley of Arabah. Thank you, Holy Father, for all your wisdom and all that you all that you deal with in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. Give us wisdom, Holy Father. Revelation two eighteen. 3, 6. To the holy angel of the church of Thyatira write, These are the words of the Son of our holy God, whose eyes are like blazing fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and your faith, your service and your perseverance, and that you, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess. By her, teaching the mis by her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely. Unless they repent of her, her ways, I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Thyatira, to you who do not hold to her teaching and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets, I will not impose any other burden on you, only hold on to what you have until I come. To him who overcomes and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He will dash them to pieces like pottery. Just as I have received authority from my Father, I also will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, Holy Spirit says to the churches. To the holy angel of the church of Sardis write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirits of our holy God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up, strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your deeds complete in the sight of my holy God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Obey it and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes will I will like them be dressed in white i will never blot out his name from the book of life but will acknowledge his name before my holy father and his angels he who has an ear let him hear what the holy spirit says to the churches thank you holy father for your word in jesus holy name Psalm 131 through 8, a song of ascents out of the depths, I cry to you, O Holy Lord, O Holy Lord, hear my voice, let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, O Holy Lord, kept a record of sins, O Holy Lord, who could stand? 
though with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. I wait for the Holy Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I put my hope. My soul waits for the Holy Lord more than the watchmen wait for the morning. More than the watchmen wait for the morning. O Israel, put your hope in the Holy Lord, for with the Holy Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all her sins. Thank you, Holy Father. Proverbs twenty nine twenty one through 22 If a man pampers his servant from the youth, he will bring grief in the end. An angry man stirs up dissension, and a hot-tempered one commits many sins. Holy Father, thank you for your word. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit with us, within us, Holy Father. Forgive us all our sins, all the way back to the first man, Adam. Forgive us, Holy Father, for we know not what we do. Put all our sins under the holy blood of Jesus, our Holy Savior, Messiah. Recompense us and vindicate us sevenfold for everything that has been stolen from us and our ancestors. In Jesus' holy name, Iyalama Hashaka. Pour your Holy Spirit over us. Please, Holy Father, give us abundant joy to dreams and visions. In Jesus' holy name, amen.